Between 17th October and 18th November 2022, 345,695 out of the 349,455 candidates who had registered for UCE sat for the Senior 4 final examinations. Out of these, 114,181 were under the Universal Secondary Education Program. In a board chairperson, Professor Mary Okwakol is concerned about the continued irregularities by some candidates, which she blamed on lack of briefing by the centre heads. Evidence available to us indicates that some did not do so. And as a result of this, some candidates committed acts of irregularities that could only be attributable to inadequate briefing. Oka Cole noted that the abridged curriculum that the candidates followed did not affect their performance. Past levels indicate that more places will be required in post-UC institutions to accommodate the large numbers of candidates who have passed and will require placement. The board's executive director, Dan Odongo, says there was improved performance compared to 2020 with the male students doing better than the females. Those that are unable to secure even grade 4, um, we don't want to call them failures, but the ones that have not been graded, the percentage also dropped from 5.6% to 4.6%. We also observe weaknesses in using correct grammar in sentence construction. Some candidates also use SS, SMS language when they write, want to write before, they write a B and a 4 and expect the examiners to understand that B and 4 put together becomes a B4. There are also issues in the way candidates handle science practicals. Meanwhile, the board says it registered a good performance of candidates who did Chinese language, which was examined for the very first time. We registered a total of 134 candidates and 124 of them uh, passed. That is 92.5%. And this is a remarkable performance for the very first time we are offering Chinese. Nakapiripirit did not have any student who passed in the first grade. Among the other districts with a low number of first graders are Nabilatuk, Terego, Madiokolo, Amudat and Toroko. Others are Bukwo, Obongi, and Napak and Bovuma, which both had 10 first graders. Among those with the most first graders are Wakiso, Kampala, Mkono, Luero, Bushenyi, Mbarara, Buikwe, Masaka, and Jinja. Meanwhile, the board will start examining sign language from next year. This is aimed at improving performance of special needs education candidates following a continued poor performance, especially among the deaf. 721 candidates registered for the exams and 74 passed in Division 1, while 99 passed in Division 2. Odongo added that in Luzira Prisons Examination Center, 51 candidates sat for the exams. The board has also withheld results of 1,035 candidates. Those centers, Honorable Minister, will be um, notified through their portals and then after that, there will be a hearing where candidates will be given an opportunity to defend themselves. The executive director is optimistic that with intensified engagement with the relevant stakeholders and enforcement of the new UNEB law, this problem will be addressed. Benjamin Jumbe, NTV.